Iron farms. They have to be one of the best farms in Minecraft. I personally love making them. You've got all the stuff you need then for your beacons and all the iron you could ever want for building blocks, redstone, and much, much more. However, they are incredibly frustrating when they don't work. And so today in this video, we're going to look at ways you can fix your iron farm if your golems aren't spawning. We're going to cover things like how to get your golems spawning again if they were once spawning and then stopped, and also how to get them spawning in the first place if you build your iron farm and still they are not spawning uh, ever if you never get any <laughs> so we're going to take a look at all of that stuff now just to mention uh, we are currently in my survival world uh, anything I build today is going to be built in creative and I will then destroy it just want to mention that because I do have a survival series and don't want anybody to get the wrong idea <laughs> uh, the other thing that I should also mention is the iron farm design we're going to be working on today is the one I built in my survival world which is Wattles iron farm design having built three iron farms this was the uh, third one the other two did not work well at all. This one was easy to build and works great. So I'm going to put a link to his video showing you a tutorial on how to build this particular iron farm down in the video description and comments. Uh, so do go and check him out. He's a fantastic YouTuber. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get into today's video on how to fix your iron farm. So probably the most frustrating of the problems you get with an iron farm is when it starts off working just fine, you've got your golems spawning, you get in your iron, and then all of a sudden it just seems to stop working. Uh, so what we're going to do here today is look at why that is and uh, have a little fix for that as well. Uh, so basically, you can see the system I've got here behind me. This is what's going to help you and uh, prevent that problem from happening. So it's not too bad in terms of redstone, as you can see here, fairly straightforward to do. If I go around this side as well, we can have a look. I am going to build this on cam with you to show you exactly how to build it, but for now let's just see it in action. So basically here's the theory behind why this is going to work. Essentially we have here pistons with blocks on that are currently retracted and that means the zombie has a clear line of sight to the villagers and vice versa. Now this of course scares the villagers which is why they're currently running around and it's the fact that they are scared that means the iron golem will spawn. That's why he spawns to come and protect them and that's basically the premise of uh, iron farms in 1.15 uh, and beyond. So what we need to do is basically reset that relationship every now and again uh, because when you have iron golems that are spawning and they just randomly stop, it's basically for some reason this relationship, uh, even though the villagers will still look like they're scared, uh, no golems are coming to save them at that point. So the way we reset the relationship is to have a block uh, clearing the line of sight um, so they are no longer scared. So essentially that's what this system does. Uh, so what we could do uh, is just to see this in action uh, is basically uh, if we get rid of that right there and we place down a power signal, you'll see that these blocks go in front and then are retracted again. So in the time that they are in front, uh, if we can get up here and have a quick look, you'll see in front the villagers calm down. Then they get pulled back and the villagers get scared again and start running around. Uh, and in the reset time, that means the iron golems will then start spawning again because that relationship is reset. Uh, so the way I had it before was with the daylight sensor, um, which we have right clicked to turn into a nighttime sensor. So put that here, right click it, it goes blue. Uh, I'll just let that system go through. There we go. Uh, so let's have a look here uh, where we turn it to nighttime. If we set the time to night, this will get activated and power the system. So what we have here is uh, a pulse shortener, so basically uh, this is obviously constantly on for the whole time it's night time, but you don't want the blocks to be in the way the whole time it's night time because you're losing out there on time when iron golems could be spawning. So by having this in place, the sticky piston with a block on top, it turns it into a pulse, almost like a button rather than a lever if you like. Uh, so then the redstone uh, repeater here picks the signal up from this block uh, and puts it into an extender. Now the extender is there so that the block is in front of the line of sight for a few seconds to hopefully reset that relationship. Uh, if you just had it as a quick pulse, it might not be enough and uh, might not work. Uh, so that's what this comparator system is doing here with the two comparators. Uh, and then we have a repeater here going into this redstone torch. So this is on by default, meaning that... Uh, Hold on a second. So when this is on by default, this is all powered, meaning that these torches here are off by default and the pistons are not extended. So the blocks are not in the way normally, only when we power it. So that's the theory of how it works. Now let's have a look at how we're going to build this. Uh, but before we do, just want to quickly mention something. I am, of course, using this on a very specific uh, iron farm design, which is Wattles design, as I mentioned before. Uh, link in the description. But this will work with any iron farm from 1.15 uh, and beyond, uh, or any iron farm that basically works on this relationship. So you can use the same theory, but it might just be a slightly different orientation of the blocks and things. Um, but essentially the theory works out that you're blocking that line of sight and resetting the relationship. 
Okay, so to build this thing, uh, first of all, what you need to do is get the sticky pistons in the correct orientation here. Uh, so we'll actually uh, build one of these together. And this here, you're going to need a solid block of some sort to ensure that it does block the, uh, the line of sight. So basically, this is where the line of sight is through here, right? So that's where we want it to end up. So that's where it's going to be uh, once it's sort of retracted. Uh, and so we need to place a piston back here. Okay, so we're going to go in here like this. It can be a bit fiddly to get to, uh, but, uh, and then place a block in like that. But that's essentially the orientation. So if we go and have a look here, there is where it's going to go. Um, so the block is like that right now. And when extended, if we were to put a redstone torch under here, it'll be out there. So that's the orientation for that one. Okay, so once you have that in place uh, on all four of the blocks that you need, in this case, or however many you need for your farm design, you want to place a redstone torch under each one of them, just like I'm doing right here. So that means they are currently going to be powered while you do this, um, but of course we're going to change that in a second. Okay, very good. So the next thing to do is to go underneath here and you want the connection between them. So we want obviously to uh, have just one power source to power all of these, so I've connected them all up with redstone wiring. And the way that we're going to do that is by having this structure that you see here. So underneath here, diagonally down one, we've got three blocks in there and three on this side as well. Uh, when I place a block there, I think I accidentally destroyed that. So then what you want to do is place redstone dust on top of these three, just like this. One here and one along here, like that with the redstone signal coming down and meeting in the middle. So that's how you have the redstone wire connecting us up to make it all one system. You then want to have yourself a slab here with a block. The reason for that is to make sure nothing's going to spawn on there and place a redstone torch underneath like that, powering all of these pistons. And as you can see, they are now currently retracted and uh, the line of sight is, is currently visible. Okay, very good. So next thing you're going to need is redstone wiring going into this to power it but of course what we need to do is make sure our system is in place so the system is going to be to place a daylight sensor and right click it and when it goes to those blue dots you know it's now a nighttime sensor we then need a block here with redstone uh, power on it so uh, redstone dust and you see we got a sticky piston at the same level as these blocks with a solid block on top of it just like that and a repeater placed in here and you right click that repeater once and that way it will draw the current through this block once that's powered so if we uh, put this along here like this right now you'll see that if i were to power this the power does go through very good okay so you then want one redstone dust and a comparator facing the way that you want the signal to go and another comparator facing in the opposite direction you're then going to place dust here here and here with a redstone dust there as well now we can see that when we power this the signal is extended a little bit so instead of it just being that pulse it is extended long enough for the blocks to be in the way of the line of sight and then retracted a short while later now that is it guys once this is in place every time it turns night time you'll have a short moment when the relationship is reset uh, so i think that's probably going to be the most efficient way that you can actually do this you could instead of having a daylight sensor here have like a lever as the input um, and uh, or maybe just a button, you know, um, you know, you could use that and then every time it was broken You could go ahead and do it But if you want to afk this for hours and hours and hours and not have to worry about it Then this is going to be the best way of doing it One final thing I need to mention guys uh, I forgot to mention it before is uh, when you have this system here in place There is still one spot that the golems could potentially spawn and that is on top of this block right here um, So we just need to make sure that doesn't happen and the way we can do that is we go ahead and place a block above it and then a half slab there like that and get rid of this um, put that one back in. <laughs> um, if we have that like that so that even when it's extended uh, it's not going to interfere with this uh, then that will stop it from happening um, so if I try to place a block on top of this right now you can see that I can't uh, because uh, the slab is in that orientation so this will prevent any golems from spawning uh, on this block right here just one other quick thing to mention about this guys obviously what we've got here is a, is a nighttime sensor and when it rains in your world or storms it will trigger this because it's uh, darkness that's caused from those storms you know it'll uh, it'll trigger the nighttime sensor and the system will uh, occur again but of course it is a reasonably short pulse and a reasonably short time that the blocks are in the way of the line of sight so realistically uh it's not that big of a problem and i still think it's a lot better to have it in it than to not <laughs> because obviously it resets the relationship uh so basically that is the fix for if you have an iron farm that is spawning golems and then it just stops uh so sometimes as well you're going to need to do this uh in the first place even when you start your farm so if you build your farm and it's not making any golems at all straight from the off sometimes doing this can help uh, it's definitely helped me a couple of times uh when i've been in that situation 
However, if uh, that doesn't work, then we're now going to start looking at other problems uh, that you can fix, uh, such as if you are not spawning any golems at all at the start, you try this and it still doesn't work, then we're going to look at what you can do next. So the next issue we're going to look at is when you build an iron farm, but no golems ever spawn right from the start. And this is, of course, very annoying because it can often take a long time to build. Uh, so as I said earlier in the video, do make sure you try this system out because this can sometimes fix it. But if you have done that and it's still not working, let's look at a few other ways you can fix it. Uh, so first of all, Kind of an obvious one, but just for the sake of being thorough, I will mention that do ensure that you do not have any other golems in the area. Uh, if you do, then they will not spawn up here because uh, it'll register that there's other golems nearby and therefore these ones are not needed. Um, but assuming that uh, that's not the case, um, you got to look at what else there is. So obviously they need to have spawning platforms. Again, this one might sound a bit obvious, but sometimes you can get wrapped up in a tutorial, build the whole thing, and just by placing one block in the wrong place, it can mess your entire design up. So do always make sure you go back through the tutorial and make sure everything is in the right space. And if golems aren't spawning, in particular, focus on the spawning platform area and make sure you've got that correct. Uh, if you've done that and uh, still nothing's happening even though you're sure they're correct then the problem is going to be around here it's going to be between the villagers and the zombies so either they're not able to see each other there's no line of sight between them uh, for some reason and uh, therefore the villagers are not scared so no zombies are spawning or the villagers do not have a profession it's important that every villager has a profession they also need to have access to a bed and they need to have slept uh, recently or at least have been able to sleep recently uh, because again if none of that is the case then uh, golems will not spawn to protect them. So you want to run through each of those things, make sure that all of those are, are the case. Um, the only other thing to mention is if you're playing on a server, do always uh, have a chat with the server owner and make sure there's nothing that they've done on their server to prevent any golems spawning in that area. You know, it's, uh, it's, always, a, it's always worth checking on a server because you never know how they might have changed things uh, from the vanilla Minecraft. So regarding the line of sight issue between the zombie and villagers, uh, this is probably going to be the cause of the problem most of the time. So one little trick you can use to help you out with this is if you press F3 and B, uh, you'll see here you get the hitboxes, but also the line of sight of the villagers and also of the zombie, the blue being the line of sight. Um, so you can see there that uh, when the villagers are down here, the line of sight between them and the zombie are in place. Um, so, you know, it's just a little trick to make sure that the zombie is able to see the villager. There we go, and vice versa. And you can see here he's looking at these two right now. Obviously, he will look at all of them. There we go, he's looking at that one. So, yeah, um, it's just a little trick you can use to make sure for 100% that that line of sight is in place because obviously that is very important for your iron farm to work. So if you've tried all of that, guys, but still you don't have any luck, there is one final fix you can try, and uh, this does work with some iron farms it's uh, something i've had to use myself in the past but basically what you want to do is block the line of sight between the villagers and the zombie ensure that no villagers and zombies can see each other at all now once you've done that you need to wait a full day night cycle so what i mean by that is if it is noon at the time you do it you need to wait until it's noon or later the following minecraft day and then destroy the blocks so that they once again have line of sight so in this time the villagers would of course be able to sleep and uh, hopefully that should fix it now guys, I really hope that this has helped today and uh, if it has, if you managed to uh, fix your iron farm because of this video or if you just enjoyed the video, please do consider liking and subscribing. It really is greatly appreciated. Um, but for now, <laughs> as it rains all over my outro, that's all for this video. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.